how to change a headlight bulb on your 2019-2020 Kia Sorento. Um, I'm actually going to be putting fused LED headlight bulbs in this Sorento that's equipped with factory halogen bulbs. Um, when you're putting the LEDs in it, it's going to be a little bit different because you have to use these special adapters. Now you can find these online. Let's go ahead and pop the hood open. Oh yeah. So we're changing the low beam on this Kia Sorento. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Here is the driver side low beam. You just twist this off and it's inside and there is the high beam. Same way. You don't have to take anything out to get to this. This is the high beam on the passenger side and low beam on the passenger side. This little coolant tank is right here, so it might make it tough on some people. If you want to take it out, it looks like you just take this one 10 millimeter, this 10 millimeter, and just slide it out. That's it. I mean, you just take two bolts off, pull it out of the way, set it right here. I may have to do that. I don't think so. So let's just twist this cap off right here. Boom. There it is. And now you can see inside of the headlight here. I'm gonna twist this out. You twist it counterclockwise. Clockwise. Oh, there it is. And there is the low beam bulb. If you plan to use the halogen bulbs, let me fix my camera here. If you plan to reuse these halogen bulbs, don't touch them with your skin because the oil on your skin can cause them to blow prematurely. I don't really care about that because I only put LEDs in my vehicles. I'm gonna show you. This bulb is the middle part. The plastic part is the vehicle's adapter to fit the H7 into their headlights. So what I do is I take a screwdriver and put it right in between here to pry it out. I just pry it out enough to get it loose. And then I use my hand to pull it the rest of the way out. I'm gonna put it right here. Now with these LED bulbs, you want to take the base off of the bulb completely. So the base is the plastic piece right here. Now the fused, you just twist it until it's at its unlocked position. And just slide it off like that. Now you're gonna be putting this adapter, I mean, yeah, this base, this bulb base, and this adapter in first into your headlight. Okay, so I have the base and the adapter in the headlight. See if you can see, there it is. You see the gray base in the headlight. The black adapter is on the outside of it into the holes for the locking tabs. Now I take a screwdriver and I'll just take and push it right here on this top tab and spin it clockwise. I may be able to get this on video. Boom. Now you want to push it the rest of the way with your screwdriver, just like that. Well, you get the idea here. I need to spin it this rest of the way to get it locked in. I'm going to turn the camera off and I'll uh, let you see it when I'm done. So there it is, locked in all the way. And it's in there pretty tight. Let me see if I can get my hand in here. As you can see, it's not wiggling. But when you spin that bulb in there to lock it, I'm going to video. You want to get it lined up properly with the the wire on the fan needs to be facing straight downward. And after you get it locked in, don't try to spin it backwards because you may spin this base out and you'll have to go back through that again. The two knobs. See that wire on the fan is pointing straight down. And there it is. And I'll show you how to plug it up. You want the positive going to the black and green wire and the negative the negative needs to be going to the black and white wire it shows on here a positive and negative symbol just like that plug it into the factory socket slash adapter boom now you just tuck it into the headlight like that Perfect. Okay, so they put these big white packets in the headlight dust cover, I guess to draw uh, moisture out of the headlight if it gets moisture inside of it. Um, well, a lot of headlights don't have these. I don't think they're 
really needed that much unless the headlights made to leak. Um, I went ahead and took it out of the, the driver's side. I want to take it out of the passenger side too. All you got to do is take these true screws off of the inside of the dust cover, pull this little black holder piece off, take the white stuff out of it. That way you have more clearance for your LED fan. Now you can put this on with the with this on it, but I'm afraid that it's going to be right up against the fan, uh, causing the fan not to be able to turn. Take the screws off, and there goes the black plastic piece, and there it is. Now you just twist the cap on the way it came off. Perfect. Now I'll show you what they look like on with the LED conversion. Fused LED conversion. Thank you.